Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we'll discuss another topic in the subject computer graphic is image processing. You all know that image is nothing but a picture. Then what about this processing? Processing is nothing but performing some operation. So image processing means a capturing an image and that image is going to be processed in a way that it can be modified or it can be sharpened. So whatever the user requirement based on that, the image can be processed. In this video, I'm going to explain about what is the image processing, that is the definition of image, the different applications of image processing, benefits of using the image processing, and the different components of image processing. Now let's start with image processing definition. Image processing means performing operation on an image in order to get enhanced image. Whatever the image you have taken that has to be processed and you'll get an enhanced image or to extract some useful information from it. That you call it as an image processing. Okay, let me give a clarity by taking a live example. Suppose if you are searching for any shop. So if you see the flex board, what you'll do, your first your eyes will uh, first capture the board, the flex board, and your brain will process it. And it is decide whether this is an exact shop that you are searching or not, right? Means here what happening, image is a flex board and your eyes are capturing that image and your brain is processing it and it is giving a conclusion whether this is exact shop or not. So it is a human, uh, if you consider the image processing in the human. In the same way, suppose uh, if you take the traffic signals, whenever your eyes is going to capture the green light. So, and your brain is process it, then we will start moving whenever the green light is appeared. So that is uh, image processing while we are talking about the human being, human being processing. Capturing is through eyes and processing through brain. In the same way, the image is captured. If you talk about in the techno, technical terms, the image is captured through camera, okay, with the help of, suppose the camera is there. So with the help of the camera, image is captured and inside the system with the help of some algorithms, we are modifying that, refining that and whatever the image that you want, enhanced image or extract, if you want to extract some useful information on that picture, that whatever the user requirement, the output will be appeared. Okay, so what this image processing will be doing, the process starts with existing image. It just take an existing image and refining, modifying in a such a way that to obtain another image. It performs operations on images like it will do rotation, it can make it as a blurriness, it can create a sharpness images. So different operations it can be performed. Now let's have a look on the applications of image processing. Image sharpening, we are going to use in the medical field. Image processing is used in the medical field. Remote sensing, transmission and encoding, pattern recognition, video processing. So these are all the different areas where the image processing is used. So here, if you see this picture, uh, let's capture an image. So this is a complete image that we captured. If you want a detailed study about a small flower, you just capture only that picture and you can refine it and you can create uh, modifications on that. Okay. So th this is a way of image processing. Capturing the image and processing whatever you want. You can make the complete background as a blur and you can take whatever the information that you want. You can extract the information, what you, whatever you want with the help of this image processing. Now, uh, coming to the next concept, the analog image processing and digital image processing. Actually, there are two types of image processing. Either you can perform in analog mode or in, it in a digital mode. So what is this analog and what is a digital? Let's have a look. The analog image processing is applied on analog signals and it process only two dimensional signals. And the main use of this analog image processing is on hard copy of images. Means you just take a hard copies like x-rays and you can take the printout. So 
on that only the analog image processing can be applied and the output is always an image whatever the image you are captured the output will be that image only analog image processing is slower and costlier processor so that's why mostly we go we, do, we are not preferring to use analog image processing we always look about the digital image processing nowadays the complete world is concentrating on and using the digital environment only so what is this digital image processing the digital image processing is applied to digital signals that work on analyzing what it is doing it analyzing manipulating the image based on computer algorithms with the help of the computer algorithms only the Im digital image is captured through cameras okay and it is analyzing and manipulating and the output may be an image or it can give some useful information associated with that image it is not compulsory every time it will give only the output as an image but in analog image processing the output is always image but in digital image processing it is not only the image, but it can give the useful information regarding that image also. Digital image processing is cheaper and faster image storages and retrieval process. So that's why we are using digital image processing nowadays. Now coming to different benefits of using the uh, image processing. The processing of image is very fast and is in less cost obviously so because of that only nowadays everyone is focusing and using this uh, digital image processing because the processing of image is very fast when compared to the analog also and it is less in cost also there is no fixing and processing chemicals are needed to take and process digital image simply you can capture the image how many ca images that you want you can capture there is no uh, need of fixing anything and there you don't require any chemicals to process the to capture the image when we take the image or a shoot we can see it immediately it is good or not and seeing the camera you are just finding and you are just looking that whether the, you got the picture clarity or not everything so it is very easy copying the digital image is easy and the quality of the image remains as it is taken no harm to it so the quality is also uh, superb and at the same time if you want to copy the digital image it is very easy Changing the image format and resolution image can be used in number of medias. Now, there is a doubt how an image is acquired and how it is stored in digital format. So everyone is getting a doubt how these images are acquiring and how we are going to store in the digital format. Let's have a look here. The image can be acquired with the help of a camera directly or by another similar devices, not only camera, you can take your mobile phones, you can take any uh, shooting devices, anything. So you can capture that uh, image with the help of that devices. First thing. Next, it can also obtain from another analog devices like photographic films, printed papers, image scanners. So not only in digitally, you can also captured by analog. It is representation of visual characteristics of objects like an exterior and interior structure of an object. And it also includes the printing, storage, processing, compression, etc. So if you talk about the digital format storage, the digital image contains a fixed number of pixels in rows and columns. This is already I discussed whenever I talked about the pixels. The digital image contains a fixed number of pixels that is arranged in rows and columns and the pixel gets stored in computer memory according to the size. These values are often transmitted and stored in compressed form. So see here, this is a capture digital image, image capturing. Okay, and here image display that is the output screen. So whenever an image is captured that sent into the computer or any electronic gadget for processing that image. This is the digital image. So here the user, the person who is want to uh, modify that image and his image analysis and computer vision with the help of a computer graphics, it sends the data here and there is image processing. The final output is going to be displayed on image display. So now coming to different components of image processing with its requirement. The first component here I'm talking about is uh, image sensor. So what is this image sensor? 
Image sensors are used for sensing the objects. The first, first component in image processing is first you need to sensor the object. If you want to capture the object, first you need to sense it, right? So image sensor used for sensing the object. Image sensors firstly capture the coming light and then converts it to into an electrical signals, then measures the signals and give you the output in the form of electronic print. So its basic nature is to convert the photons into electrons. That is the image sensor. And coming to the next component, that is the hardware of image processing. Okay, what type of hardware you required for image processing? It is a hardware that performs the arithmetic logic unit, which is used to perform some arithmetic and logical operations on image. So if you take the image, it has to perform some arithmetic and logical uh, calculations. Means the pixel should be added, the pixel should be removed, and how much uh, quantity you need to be added so that the sharpness will be appeared. So like that. So it has to be performed on arithmetic logic unit. This dedicates hardware is just used to pass the result to its general purpose computer. And the third component of image processing and its requirement is computer or a PC you, you required it. To perform an operation, you require something, right? So this computer is a general purpose computer, which is regularly used on our daily life for performing many operations, just like your laptops, your uh, tablet, anything. An interaction media or a way between human beings and a machine. The next component is a software for image processing. A software is a machine inner tool. Remember student, whatever the software we are taking, that software is a machine inner tool, which is used to perform some specific task like writing the code, converting some codes. So this software is built according to the mechanism and the algorithm that are used in the image processing machines. And the next component is storage. Okay, the inner algorithms is also ready. So we converted that image into our use, uh, user requirement. Then next we need to store that. So storage, mass storage. So this is used for storing purpose, which is present in the form of machine readable code in the machine only. In the machine only, a storage will be there. The image processing data storage will be there. So that is also in the form of machine readable code. Here, the data can be stored in large amount of form. And the next component displaying the image. Okay, image is also stored. Then fin finally, we need to display the image. So where you are going to display? This is the last stage where the final output will be displayed on the monitor. This will be displayed mainly in the colored monitors or in colored form, anything. Okay, okay. suppose if you want any hard copy, uh, if you want to display in your monitor, it can be displayed. If you want, the, again, the hard copy, just after completion of all, all the process, this piece of data can be stored in any hard machine like you can store it in pen drive, external ROM devices or any external devices. And finally, it is a networking. If you want to transfer your image, digital image processing from one system to another system, you can use the networking. To transmit the data or image information from computer to computer, the network is very needed. The speed of transmission can be measured by its transmission bandwidth. Remember student, the speed of transmission can be measured only by its transmission bandwidth. Okay, thank you. If you're having any doubts, please let me know. Thanks for watching.